Hello friends! Welcome to my first ever video for my new book called Oh You're So Creative. And my name is Chelsea and I'm also known as Oh You're So Tough around the interwebs. I am a cancer survivor and artist and I created this book as a way to get you creating. It doesn't have anything to do with cancer, it's all just fun things. If you already have this book then you know about it but if you don't it is available on Amazon. I will link it below as well as linking all of the materials and things that I use. Um, it is an Amazon affiliate link, so I do earn a small commission if you use that link, but um, grab your books. We're gonna start creating. If you do create anything in this book, I would love to see it. If you'd love to tag me on anywhere, really Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, I'm primarily on Instagram, but you can tag me um, at oh, you're so tough, and I'll have that below. But just to start with, I'm going to go ahead and use really just basic materials. Um, I won't go through this on every video, but since it's the first one, uh, I like this pen for drawing. I like to sketch out what I'm going to do before I add any color. This is called Sumo Grip. It has a lovely name. Um, you can probably get it on Amazon as well. I will try to link it, but I just really like the grippy and it has a good eraser. And I don't know, I just like it. So I'm gonna start with this pencil. Now with this book, I'm gonna show you, you do not need to do the prompts in this book in order. You can do them whatever way you want. And the suggested art materials I would use in this book are pen, pencil, colored pencil, crayons. If you have alcohol markers, I would beware because every page is double-sided. So if you use an alcohol marker, it will most certainly bleed through. So you may just want to stick to art materials like I said, colored pencils and such. So we are just going to go ahead and get started. I will just see what speaks to me as far as a prompt. Um, when you're following along, you don't have to do the same prompts as me if you just want to create your own stuff, but I think it might be sort of cool to do the same one together. So let's just find a prompt that speaks to us today. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to go ahead and start with this page, and this page is called Worry, and it says, who do these worried eyes belong to? The dots that you can see are from this page here, so it actually has nothing to do with this page, but I can see it with the light, so I wanted to mention it. So what I'm going to do is just start sketching who I think these worried eyes belong to and kind of see where my brain takes me. So you do the same if you're following along. And uh, I will be back with you when we start getting to, you know, inking it down and getting color put on. Uh, but just enjoy watching. Okay guys, so comment below at this point of this drawing to tell me whether or not you know what I'm drawing. And you can comment again at the end of the video to see if uh, your prediction was right. Okay, so, so far this is the little character I've sketched out and I am loosely, not loosely I guess, well, kind of, loosely basing it on, da 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 da, drum roll please, a Pop-Tart! A sad Pop-Tart, that's just what jumped into my mind. <laughs> that's what's cool about this book and what I wanted it to be is just like, 
defining what you think it is. And I think that's going to be really neat to see what everyone kind of thinks of. Um, also, don't be afraid to erase and redraw. I do all the time. I'll probably do it like 700 more times um, in this video. <laughs> but I don't always like what I first draw at all. So I am actually going to give this guy a little um, umbrella because he should be worried about something. So I'm thinking there might be like a storm coming. So let's see. Okay, I decided that he is not worried about the storm. He's actually at a birthday party and he is sad because nobody came to his party. Who would not come to a Pop-Tarts party? Also, does he have, he needs equal number of fingers. So let's fix that. I'm gonna give him like a little balloon. Comment below if you would attend a Pop-Tarts party. I sure would, but I wouldn't. I don't actually like Pop-Tarts as far as like eating them. I know some of you are like, really? But no, I don't like them, but my husband really does. But so if I went to a Pop-Tarts party, they would be safe. And as you see, even if you're not familiar with my art style, I just draw the way that I wanna draw. I don't do it technically, I don't do it the best I just do it my style and that's what's important is just doing your own style like nobody's style is better than anybody else's and if you can't draw yes you can because you can draw your style it doesn't have to look like mine or anyone else's so that's what I love about drawing and it's a good way to kind of just zone out and create so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this birthday scene and I'll see you back soon Okay, so this is the sketch that I have completed. A little sad Pop-Tart. He's really worried that nobody's gonna show up to his birthday. He has a balloon, he has a banner, he has a cake, and he's waiting for presents because nobody has shown up yet. Um, yeah, so let me see. I'm trying to decide what is going to be best to kind of ink it. Like I have um, these Micron pens that are really good, but I'm afraid that they might also bleed through the thing with amazon is the paper that you get with black and white printing it's good it's just not like art paper and i'm a self-published author so i don't have like access to all the fanciness that other people do so i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick test on this and see how it holds up and if it isn't good for this then we'll know together Okay, so it held up pretty good. Like here's where I wrote hi. You can sort of see it on the back. So I'm just gonna go for it. 
it is what it is so we're just gonna go for it this is a pigma micron zero five i will once again try to link it if you want to get the same one but feel free to just use like a ballpoint pen or you don't even have to do this step but i'm gonna go ahead and outline it and then i'm going to um be back with you then <laughs> As you can see, I just messed that up, but there are no mistakes, just happy accidents, like Bob Ross says, so no worries, so we're just gonna keep going. Okay, I got everything outlined. Um, the pen actually held up pretty well. As you can see, it's not really going through. So I would definitely recommend getting some of these if you want a like felt tip type pen and you don't want it to go through because that one worked out really well. So I'll try to link this, like I said below. Um, now I am going to go and erase this, all these pencil marks, so we can just essentially have a blank slate to color in. So essentially what you're doing when you do this is creating your own coloring page. Um, I also do have coloring books, shameless plug, I will have those below too, but <laughs> you are basically creating your own coloring book. So I will go ahead and erase, and also I have this like eraser shaving vacuum, I'll show you but I don't have batteries in it, so it's really worthless at this time, but I am gonna put batteries in it for sure for these videos. So yes, we're doing that, but for today, we're just gonna be doing the hot mess. So I will be back, I'm going to erase. <laughs> Okay, so I pretty much got it all erased. I always miss something, so I'm sure you see something I missed too, but it's okay. So we have the outline done, and like I said, the outlining, oh my god, I need that, I need that vacuum, it's like all over here. Okay, so <laughs> this is optional to outline it, I just think that it makes it a lot nicer and easier to color, but like I said, this book is for you, so whatever you want to do, you do it. So I'm going to show you the colored pencils that I have. They are just from Amazon, again, I just, they're a good price, there's a lot of them, so this is the one that I got. So I like that it had this, uh, <laughs> clearly a Disney um, castle on the front, although it's not Disney, but I will once again try to link this below, but this one has a lot of colors, which I like. So make sure you have a colored pencil, um, what's the word, sharpener, yes, sharpener. So make sure you have a sharpener. It doesn't have to be any fancy sharpener. I think I got mine at Dollar Tree. So have that. Only thing I don't like about this is you have to lift out these trays and it's like to see all the colors, but I will go ahead and set this to the side. I'm not sure. I'm thinking pink for sure on the frosting part. So I need to find a good pink. Okay, let's go with this pink. This one is called Light Rosy Pink 86. That's just something they do. A lot of people like to swatch. I just kind of go for it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make the frosting, um, main frosting part of him or her. I think he's a him though. But we are going to make it pink, even if it is a him. Because pink is for boys too. Also, I don't have any like fancy 
coloring techniques. Um, I just try to do like kind of like small little circles and that kind of sometimes smooths it out a little. Another cool idea, which I do have these colored pencils uh, for another video we could do, is I have watercolor colored pencils where you can actually lay down the colored pencil color first and then you can go back and use a paintbrush and kind of get a whole different look. I'm gonna go ahead and color this Pop-Tart guy and you do the same for whatever you have drawn. If you've also drawn a sad Pop-Tart, great and I will be back with you. So I kind of like how the blue and the pink kind of make this cool purple color on the edges, so I'm just going to go with that and it doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing about art, in my opinion, has to be perfect, so you do you, boo, that's what I do. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the frosting portion, so what I'm going to actually do is I think that the eyes, like the little eyelids, need a little bit of something. So I'm going to try an orange color. I don't necessarily want to make it look like skin because obviously he's a tart. So let's see. Yeah, I think that's good. So I'm going to go find a brown color. Not too brown, but he's going to be just like a toasted pop tart. So let's try to find a brown. Oh, sorry. If you need to know, this is salmon pink. So I lied about swatching because I don't want to make it the wrong color. So this one is metallic orange. So I'm just going to take a piece of paper and kind of see what it looks like. Yeah, I actually like that color for the Pop-Tart since he has like the orange eyelids. I think we'll go with that. So this is metallic orange. For this color in particular, I'm not going to press down quite as hard because I don't want it to be dark. I just want it to be like a light pastry color, I guess. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have been calling this a pop tart the whole time. I'm just like toaster pastry, you know, like copyright, but I mean. So I think we should put some little darker kind of like marks here because that's like the edge of the pastry. I think it'll give it a bit more dimension. I think I'm going to take this same color and do the arms and legs and I'm going to do it potentially a bit darker, kind of like we did the edges and then kind of see. I don't love how I did the arms. I wish I would have did it less. Not I don't even know if he needed arms. Well, yeah, he needed to hold his balloon, but I wish I would have did it less like person-like, but yeah, it is what it is now, so we're going to go with it. Okay, there is the Pop-Tart colored except for the sprinkles. So I am just gonna grab a random rainbow type colors and then I'm thinking a reddish color for the hat because that's kind of like party hat vibes. And then I'm just gonna leave the dots white. And then I think what we'll move on to next is the carpet that he's standing on. So the color I'm going to go with is peach and now I'm scared of the color. Let me, okay, let me just, we're going to use our little, see I made myself a wire now, I got a swatch. This particular colored pencil brand, I think it came with a 
little like guide that showed you the colors but I don't know it's not always accurate to me so yeah that looks good so we'll, we'll go with that for the hat One thing that he is missing that I usually like to put on characters is like little cheeks and I think this red actually will stand out well against the pink so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it. Obviously optional but I just like think it gives him more of a personality. Okay so about the balloon, hmm, I'm gonna go with this, it has a very technical name, light yellowish green so let's see. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Kind of reminds me of like a kiwi. One thing you have to be careful with when you are using like materials over micron pencils, if not pencils, markers, if you choose to get one. Um, this, wait, I'm the worst at this. Micron <laughs> is if you color over it, sometimes it has a tendency to smear. So I just did that. But like I said, I'm just going with it. I'm having fun and that's all that matters. We're not displaying this in the Louvre anytime soon, I don't think. <laughs> So I've decided on this color, it's called Lilac, I didn't swatch it, we're just gonna go with it, and I don't know, oh I love it, it's a good color, okay, great, yay! I know some people in the comments will be like, just swatch everything, and I'm like, no, you can't make me! I can see a part that I forgot to erase, oh well! Alright, that is good for the carpet. I'm gonna leave the dots white. I feel like we don't want to go, I mean this is gonna be a very colorful picture because that's just me, but uh, maybe we'll have some white. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on the cake next. So let's see. I think that this color, pale yellow, will be a good color for the cake because I don't want it to be the same color as the pop tart. Yeah, I like that. It looks like a regular sponge cake. You could also add a few, like, I added a few dots on the Pop-Tart to kind of convey that it was, like, slightly textured, like a pastry. Can do the same on the cake as well. I'm also very tempted to add a cute face on the cake because that's, I can't stop myself from adding cute faces to things. For the frosting, I'm going to go with this light aqua green. I wanted to use pink, but I think it's too much pink already, so I think this is good. Also, clearly, you could take like as long of a time as you wanted to color this. Um, in a perfect world, I'd probably sit here for like two hours and color it, but we don't have two hours to watch this video, so <laughs> we're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna quickly take warm yellow and just do the flame of the candle. That looks good. I actually love that color. I kind of love that like mustardy color. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now I like want to put. Okay, I'm gonna do it here too. I just like it. And then we'll figure out the rest of the door. Okay, that just makes me happy. For the table that the cake is on, I think I'm just gonna do this cinnamon for a minute. I was like, what color are tables? <laughs> but obviously tables are whatever color you want them to be. I found this pretty color in there. It's called Dodger Blue. I'm thinking it might be cute for the door, but okay, I'm gonna swatch it. Ooh, yes, okay, I like this. So let's do that for the door. Comment below and tell me what color your door, your front door is. Mine is red. I wanted a red front door after seeing like a lot of colorful doors in Ireland. One year I went with my mom 
and there's a whole, I can't remember what they call them, but there's a whole section of houses that are like really fun colors and I love it. So I was like, well, my HOA won't let me have a pink house, but I can have a red door at least. Okay, I will admit, I don't love that choice. <laughs> I probably would've went with blue to make it look more like a window, but I kind of also came up with a new story to explain why it is so yellow outside, so, and why he's worried. So he is actually inside of a house that is actually a trap. It is a toaster oven, okay? He's about to get eaten, that's why he's so worried. That's why you see all these lights. It is his birthday, it was a trap, it was a surprise party, just to eat him. Wasn't there commercials like this? I feel like my psyche from the 90s are like kicking in. Wasn't there sort of a commercial or a series of commercials like this? I think so, but yeah, we're just gonna go with that. So the last thing that I am gonna color in this picture uh, is the little flags, and I think I'll just do them for fun colors. And then we are going to do a couple highlights, and I'm gonna tell you the best way to highlight and kind of make your picture look overall more fancier. Optional step, obviously, but let me go ahead and color the flags. Here is essentially what we came up with all because of a set of eyes, which I think is pretty cool. So my little Ward Pop-Tart, he's about to get cooked in the toaster oven. They already have him trapped, poor guy. Now let's get our little supply kit back out. And yes, these are axolotls. Axolotls are my favorite animal, kind of. I think they are, pretty much. So I am going to be using these Jelly Roll little white pens or like gel pens. These are awesome. You can get them at Michael's, wherever, Amazon, of course. And these just allow you to put like little white crisp highlights on things. And I just think it makes it look kind of like more professional. Not that a Pop-Tart being cooked alive is professional, but you know what I mean. So let's see. So the last finishing touch on the Pop-Tart um, is I want to put these little highlights on the eyes. And how I did it was I took my white pen and I just did little circles there. So it just gives them a little bit more depth, a little bit more personality. Um, the one thing with these is this, it is great for highlighting, but as you can see, when you're on top of like, let me show you an example. When you're on top of this colored pencil, it sometimes doesn't pick it up very well. You have different art materials, it may work better, like the alcohol markers and such, but this is just a little thing that I like to do that I think kind of made it come to life more. One thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with the Micron and do some kind of like, highlights emphasis on certain things and see kind of like how that can elevate and i couldn't stand it i gotta put a face okay yay okay i feel better now it was like i need a face i go back over some of these faces because like i told you when you color over micron marker pen thing it can sometimes get kind of messed up so that's another reason why all these, although these are great and I recommend them, you could always use just like a regular pen and it may work just as well or better, I don't know. That's the best thing about these videos, we can experiment together and like I said before, it's just for fun. So I remember, oh, I want to put those little, little dots like da, da, da. be like a vanilla bean cake. Some of this purple onion color in the lines, so I'm just going to go back over it to kind of give it a sketchy style. Now, you could certainly 
color all of the walls, the other carpet, the everything. You know, the sky's the limit. So I am going to put these little dashes, and that's kind of to give it, like, the appearance of being kind of re reflective. So if you did color these blue, like on these, you know, light blue or transparent type blue, it would kind of give the effect that it's a window, like a piece of glass. But in our case, it is a piece of glass, but he's looking out to the <laughs> toaster oven. Sorry. Sorry, little Pop-Tart. So, yeah, I think that it came out pretty cute. I like it. I'm happy with it. It was fun to do. I hope that you had fun. Uh, one thing I want to tell you, you should always sign your work, so I'm going to go ahead and sign it, and you sign yours too, so I always sign mine, I go by Oh You're So Tough as an artist, so Oh You're So Tough, and oh, let's put the year, just in case, you know, I can't remember, <laughs> let me put away my art stuff, and we'll be wrapping it up, okay, here is the final little pop-tart guy uh you guys can certainly leave a name for him below if you would love to give him a name uh he's r.i.p pop-tart <laughs> i hope that you guys had a fun time creating with me once again this book is called oh you're so creative it's available on amazon it's available internationally through amazon anywhere that can get amazon deliveries they have it uh here's the back it's all age appropriate things. So if you have, uh, you know, a younger person who's just wanting some fun prompts, then you can check out this book. Thank you for sticking in there with me. These videos I'm sure will improve with time, but this is my first one. I hope that you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me everywhere. Shop my Etsy shop. Uh, what else? <laughs> I don't know what else. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. All of that is really helpful. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.